Pope Francis urges not to move from being Christian witnesses to Christian accusers. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Pope Francis today warned against the temptation to become Christian accusers and stressed the importance of being witnesses to the gospel in a globalized and fragmented world. This Friday, September 15th, the Holy Father received an audience the participants in the V International Congress of Benedictine Oblates, urging them to keep their hearts open to hospitality and passion for the gospel. The temptation, Pope Francis warned, is always to go from being Christian witnesses to Christian accusers. The only accuser is the devil, let us not assume the role of the devil, let us assume the role of Jesus, let us learn from Jesus, from the Beatitudes. In a globalized but fragmented world, hurried and given over to consumerism, in contexts where family and social roots sometimes seem to dissolve, we do not need Christians who point fingers, but passionate witnesses who radiate the gospel in life through life," the Holy Father said. In his address, the pontiff urged a focus on three key aspects, the search for God, passion for the gospel and hospitality. In his speech, the pontiff urged to focus on three key aspects, the search for God, the passion for the gospel and hospitality. In this sense, he issued a warning about the temptation to close oneself, and indicated that today, in our civilization, in our culture, even Christian, one of the ways of closing oneself is gossip, which dirties others, I'm shutting down because this guy is a disgrace. Pope Francis invited Benedictine oblates to use their tongues to praise God instead of gossiping about others, and suggested that the reform of life that involves never speaking ill of others could lead them down the path to sainthood or canonization. The Bishop of Rome thanked the Benedictine Oblates for their dedication and encouraged them to continue widening their hearts and giving them to the love of God, keeping alive the passion for the gospel and practicing hospitality, especially towards the poorest. Pope Francis' reflection on the temptation to become Christian accusers rather than Christian witnesses is a powerful call to authenticity and compassion in our daily lives as believers. In a world full of judgment and criticism, it is often easy to fall into the trap of pointing fingers at others, especially when our differences and divisions seem to dominate the narrative. However, the Pope reminds us that this is not the path we should follow as followers of Jesus. Gossip, as the Pope mentioned, is one of the ways we can close ourselves off and move away from the essence of the Gospel. By speaking ill of others, we perpetuate division and judgment, leading us away from true spirituality that seeks unity and unconditional love. Instead, it calls us to use our words to praise God and spread His message of love and compassion. This is an invitation to cultivate empathy and kindness in our daily interactions instead of spreading negativity. The life reformation involved in refraining from speaking ill of others is not just about changing our words, but transforming our hearts. It is a reminder that, as Christians, we should strive to imitate Jesus and live the Beatitudes in our dealings with others. In doing so, we not only move closer to holiness, as the Pope suggested, but we also contribute to building a more compassionate and united world. Ultimately, Pope Francis' reflection calls us to be light in the midst of darkness, to be authentic witnesses to God's love in a world that often seems fragmented and full of accusations. By practicing hospitality, compassion and open-heartedness, we can play a significant role in building a more just and loving world, in keeping with the teaching of Jesus.